Alrighty, so I received a very, um, you know, interesting comment on my D500, you know, setup, you know, whatever video, um, su suggesting that I should put Windows 2000 on the D600, uh, just because I haven't had a 2000 machine in so long. Uh, so, you know, every every computer that I run usually runs Windows XP. Well, I haven't used 2000 on a, on a laptop or really any computer for a couple years now. So, figure, well, we have this D600 here. It has a hard drive and, you know, everything. It's complete. So, let's go ahead and crack out my Windows 2000 disk and put 2000 on this thing. And then, um, when my other D500 comes, uh, I might just swap the hard drives. So I can have two working D500s, or I might just like keep that one as, you know, a working D500, but I'm not gonna use it for anything because it doesn't have a hard drive, obviously. But I might, I might do that. Might not. Might just keep. I'll probably just keep the D600, um, you know, immaculate and stuff. Well, not immaculate, but working because, you know, having two 500s is kind of D500s is kind of pointless. I think my 2000 disc is in here. I have so many goddamn Windows discs, it's not even funny. So, okay, server 2003. Get this guy out of the way. Windows 2000 server, so apparently not. <laughs> so I have Windows 2000 server and Windows server 2003. Jesus, okay, hold on. <laughs> Keep looking. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. No, that's not it. <laughs> I know it's on a green disc, though. It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. Jesus Christ. I haven't used this thing in so long. I don't even know if it works. Let's see. Oh my lord. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to clean that and I'll try to, um, you know, make it work. <laughs> well, I don't even know if this CD's gonna read. It's so scratched up and old and I don't know. I don't even know if this is gonna read, but let's try it. Furthermore, I don't even know if that optical drive works because when I got my D600, I could not get this thing to read CDs, so combination of a bad disc and a bad drive so I don't even know if this crap is gonna work let's try it plug her in hey okay, we got the green light of death let's refresh F12 hopefully it works it's beeping at me god damn you you son of a bitch hold on alright just as I suspected this optical drive is bad I knew it from the start I got this thing and I don't know why, but this optical drive does not read any kind, any sort of disc, so I'm going to have to uh, borrow my D500s, which it'll be okay, don't worry. You don't mind, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, um, yeah, I know this one works, so let's see. Plug her in, open her up. It could be a combination of a bad disc, too, so. See if that works. Uh, escape. I'm gonna go to the boot menu. God damn you, son beach. Oh, I have to reboot it. Hold on. Sawi. Sawi Papos. I lied. Okay, one time boot menu. There we go. Alright, let's try this. See if it'll read better this time. Could be a bad disc, too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Sweet! I knew it was just a bad drive, so. And this 2000 setup, I'm gonna put 2000 on this thing. So, yeah, I'll update you further in the installation process. Alright, you know what? This is against the laws of computing, but I'm removing the battery. It's plugged in, don't worry, so it ain't gonna die. This battery is in amazing, immaculate condition, so. Like, this is the one off of the secondary broken D500. If you hold it, it has one light, but then if you hold it, and it shows up. There are absolutely no lights. This battery is in great condition. It should last a good couple of hours. So let me go ahead and flip my D500 on its side too. It's also plugged in, obviously. And I'm sorry about the crappy camera work. Um, if you see this, this battery is fully charged. But if you hold the lights, you get all five lights. So it'll tell you this battery is crap. This battery shows no lights when you check the health gauge indicating that it has more than 80 percent of its life left so very cool oh and i just noticed there's a piece of tape right there 
I will get you off. You will not get on my computer. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on that again. I have to clean that. But yeah, so this thing has a good condition battery, and then I'm just gonna put the crap battery in here. Because I'm, you know, yeah. This battery still lasts a good hour, but this one ought to last two hours because it's in very good condition, so. Sweet! I didn't even know that. So, oh, cool. This is like the sideways Dell convention here. Anyway, um, oh, right. Let's fix this. Uh, let's delete, enter, L, there, and NTFS. So Windows 2000 takes, Windows 2000 setup takes like a billion years to format a hard drive. I'm not sure why, but yeah, this is going to take a while. So, I will update you later, but that is cool. I got a new battery for this thing. See, I didn't even know the condition of that battery, so. Sweet! So this computer is just that much better now. Just further proving, that's obvious, oh. Okay, so that's how much charge it has right now, so it's really low. But, as you can see, the battery wear, 6% is worn. So this battery has 94% of its original capacity. I checked the crappy battery and it has roughly 60% wear, so it only has 40% of its original capacity. So, 94% versus 40%. So, this battery should last a lot longer, as you can see. It's a, estimated full run time is, well, it just, it just jumped down. So, I'll have to see uh, what it says once it's completely done charging, so. Cool. Another, like, that is just, that is just nice, so. Yeah, it's a quick update. We're still formatting that hard drive. I told you guys this takes a long time. Still formatting. Uh, holy buttered nipples, it finally finished formatting. Alright. Windows 2000 Professional. I haven't seen this screen in at least. Let's see, the last time I installed Windows 2000 was... Let's see... Probably, I don't know, mid 2010 or early 2010. It had to be, had to be like between January and June 2010. So I don't know, first half of 2010. I don't remember. Let's name this D600. I'm probably not going to. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I wanted to. Um, uh, what the hell am I saying? I wanted to. All right, uh, let's. No administrator password. Screw you. I wanted to play around with OSs on this thing. Like that was the whole point. All right, it is seven. It is eight twenty-two p.m. Uh, that was the whole point of the me getting this thing up and running. To be honest, eight p.m. I'm getting off my track, but I want to play around with some some operating systems on this computer. Like I want to try uh, this thing called Eggplant OS. I think. Matt K7364 um, made that. It's basically based on Linux, but it's uh, it's its own distro. So I don't know. I might try that out. Um, you know, I don't know. So I don't know if this is staying on here or I'm just going to to buy another hard drive. So anyway, yeah, it's gonna set up the network and all that bulla shit. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and film all of this, but we're almost there. Holy crap, we made it. Now I just need to find all the drivers for this computer. That's going to be the fun part, right? Getting everything to work on this thing. But this the D600 came out in 2003, so not too not too um not too late after Windows 2000 came out. It's only 3 years, so it should work. I know these things were optional. Uh, that you could ship them with 2000 so I'm gonna see if I can get you know all the drivers installed and shiz and we'll be on our way but anyway yeah I'm gonna I'm actually gonna end the video here because no one wants to see um, you know that no one really cares but actually I don't know I might install the drivers and stuff and then I'll put another clip on here who knows that looks a little better now that we have the graphics drivers installed so yeah, there you go.